our our argument is that atheism is as much religious <laughs> is as much a religion as Roman Catholicism, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism. It's just another ism, only this one's called atheism. That's okay, right. and it's a religion. Communism. And as we see here in Webster's new 20th century dictionary, the definition of a religion is, of course, a any specific system of belief. I would say atheists are uh, in denial. They actually know that God does exist, and they're just God haters, and uh, and they're in denial. You know, so we we all know about people in denial. You know, you got to face the facts. You know how you can take Novocaine to uh -huh. to, to to deaden the nerves, nerve endings, or something. Well, I, I almost think like atheism is like a drug, a mental drug. <laughs> Instead of Novocaine, maybe they, I would call it like stupid cane. I think atheism is, is like taking a drug. It, it, it's, it's a self-induced psych, uh, psychological mental condition. It's, it's, it's like a disease. Or you want to see what atheism does, uh, look at communism. Okay, they're an atheistic, uh, well, they, they control the people because they don't want any beliefs hindering their government um, control over the people. So what you have is these oppressed people that have no hope, that are totally empty. Uh, you can look in their eyes. Uh, you see the poverty. You see the economical chaos. You see that uh, communism doesn't work. Well, atheism doesn't work. What is actually happen happening is man states that he is God. Since he doesn't believe in God, that way he can be God. So it's a big ego trip, basically, is what it is. These atheists hate God. They, they, they're bitter. They, they have a rage that seems to permeate their personalities. And when you listen to debate tapes, as I have, and, and seen them speaking in public forums, that, that rage and that hatred against God and against those people that would affirm God, we, we would think that uh, in, in common society, you'd at least clean up your, your language a little bit in a public speaking forum. Why? Why? If there's but, no God, there's no morals. Right. Satan hates us. We're rebellious, but Satan can add to that rebellion by making us either, even more venomous. Uh, he wants to kill us, keep us away from the truth, which is accepting Jesus Christ and turning our lives to him. And he'll, have, he'll do that through atheism, through hate, uh, hating God. And, it's, and a lot of times this rage it may not be the individual. These people may have actually demonic influences oh, on I'm sure them of that. that are making them this hateful. When you hear these arguments from the atheists, the skeptics, agnostics, oh, there was no Jesus, or the Bible's a bunch of trash, and all that normal trash that you'll mm -hmm. hear from mm -hmm. atheists uh, is exactly that. Trash and can be thrown in the trash can of history, along with all the other bad ideas like atheism. And the separation of church and state has been actually twisted. Um, actually, it was originally intended as a ch separation of church and state, meaning that God was the superior, the state was underneath. But it's been twisted around. Modern antitheists proclaim their unbelief in God as part of a package deal which includes totalitarian socialism as the ultimate goal. Uh, you know, it was God bless America at one time, and God, God came through with God bless America. But um, now that we are turning away from God, it's not going to be God bless America. We're going to end up just like uh, the Russians. It, and if you're going to build your reasoning and logic and conclusions on the basis of this glob of neurons, your finite mind, and, and instead of the Word of God, which is very proved, and God himself telling us, well, that, that's just insane. That's, that's illogical, and it's dumb. It is, I'm sorry, but it is stupid. Right. It's an attack. God. That's a good definition for atheism. Mm -hmm. It's a re it's rebellion against God. They're just God haters. It's hatred of God. Have you been brainwashed? Do you have a psychological imbalance that causes you to be an atheist? What, what is the reason for you to be an atheist? Atheists aren't atheism for all these high and mighty intellectual reasons. Well, I've got philosophical arguments here that show there's no God. It's not that. It's because they already had their minds made up beforehand. That That's they right. rejected God for some personal reason. So maybe it was for sex. I want to have sex with this person, or I want to take these drugs. I mean, you go into a lot of people's family lives, and or I didn't get the woman I wanted to marry, and I'm blaming you, God, or my mom, or my 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 husband died, 
and it's all your fault, God, for letting them die with cancer. That was just terrible. And I'm blaming God or the Nazis killed six million Jews. It'll be coming up. Well, life without God's a joke. Okay, guys, there's no reason to even be here. You're just a bug that's going to get squashed. Big deal, right? Very bad for your self-esteem. But it's also, it's also uh, there is a lie, there is a conspiracy. Uh, and, and it's taught in our schools today, and it's called evolution. And we hope to uh, clear that out of the way. Atheism is false because... It's philosophically absurd. Atheism is false, point two, because it's scientifically erroneous. All right, then three, atheism is false because it's morally bankrupt. Dale's brought this up several times. You know, if there's no God, there's no good, there's no evil, what's right, what's wrong? Four, it's socially destructive. And that gets into what you were just saying. We could go into our neighbor's house, rob, rape, mutilate. Uh, what's this guy? Uh, uh, there's been a lot of news about a cannibal in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. He's been eating people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he particularly liked their, what was it, their livers or their brains or something like that. It was their but, liver. Uh, oh, it was a liver? <laughs> yeah, I mean, a real gourmet there. <laughs> because it's humanly degrading. Man is just an animal like any other. Nothing special. In this belief, Hitler's attitude toward the Jews is just as valid as any other opinion. The atheists are liars, <laughs> to put it bluntly. When they come up with all these phony arguments against the Bible and stuff, and the minute you answer it, they just come up with something else. It just means that they were lying on the first premise because it didn't mean anything to them the minute you answered it. They just come up with something else. If you should die right now, and you're one heartbeat from eternity, you'll go directly to hell. So think about it.